Australia's defense landscape is undergoing a transformative shift with the development of the Strix drone, a cutting-edge unmanned aerial system designed to bolster the nation's military capabilities in an increasingly complex Indo-Pacific region. Developed by BAE Systems Australia in collaboration with Perth-based Innovero, the Strix is a hybrid tandem wing vertical takeoff and landing platform that promises to redefine operational flexibility for the Australian Defence Force. Measuring 2.6 metres by 4.5 metres and weighing approximately 650 kg without weapons, the Strix is a compact yet versatile system that fits into a standard shipping container, enabling rapid transport and deployment. Its design incorporates BAE's Advanced Vehicle Management System, previously utilized in the MQ-28 Ghost Bat, and is equipped to carry precision-guided munitions like the Razor, alongside other payloads such as the AGM-114 Hellfire, Brimstone, APKWS-2, and AGM-179, JAG-MMR. As Australia seeks to assert its strategic autonomy and counter regional threats, the Strix represents a significant leap in sovereign defense technology, blending innovation with practical battlefield applications. The development of the Strix has progressed at an impressive pace since its unveiling at the Avalon Air Show in February 2023, where it was introduced as a conceptual platform with ambitious goals for multi-domain operations. By November 2023, BA Systems Australia completed the critical design review, finalizing key aspects of the drone's propulsion, propeller, motor, and battery configuration, while initiating autonomy testing at its Australian facilities. A major milestone was achieved in October 2024, when the Strix conducted its first vertical takeoff, hover and landing at a remote test facility in Western Australia, validating its autonomous control systems and novel tilt-body configuration just 20 months after its debut. As of April 2025, BA is advancing toward horizontal flight testing and payload integration with a full-scale prototype under construction at the Henderson shipyard. The project also leverages a digital twin tested in a six-degree-of-freedom physics-based simulation, demonstrating the drone's suitability for maritime and other mission profiles. This rapid development underscores Australia's commitment to staying at the forefront of unmanned systems technology, with the Strix poised to transition from prototype to operational capability in the near future. The Strix is designed to serve a multifaceted role within the ADF, primarily targeting the Australian Army and Royal Australian Navy. Its core purposes include intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions, air-to-ground strikes, and runway-independent operations, making it a highly adaptable platform for high-risk environments. The drone's VTOL capability allows it to operate from diverse platforms, including land bases, naval vessels like the RAND's Canberra-class Last Landing Helicopter Dock or Hunter-class frigates, and even helicopters, offering unparalleled flexibility in deployment. As a payload agnostic system, the Strix can be rapidly reconfigured for various mission sets, from persistent surveillance to precision strikes, and can function as a faithful wingman to crewed assets like helicopters. Its cost-effective design aligns with modern warfare trends, drawing inspiration from conflicts like Ukraine, where low-cost drones have imposed significant financial burdens on adversaries. By providing an affordable yet capable platform, the Strix enhances the ADF's ability to conduct asymmetric warfare, ensuring operational impact without the high costs associated with traditional crewed systems. As of April 2025, the Strix remains in the prototype phase, with no confirmed ADF contracts or operational deployments. However, BAE Systems Australia is actively marketing the drone to the Australian Army and RAN, while also engaging with international customers including two unnamed nations and potential interest from the U.S. market. Discussions at global defense events like AUSA highlight the drone's growing international appeal, driven by its modular design and containerized transportability, which allows deployment via truck or ship for rapid response in diverse theaters. 
BAE projects that the Strix will achieve full operational readiness by 2026, with ongoing tests focused on integrating advanced payloads and expanding mission capabilities. The drone's ability to fit into a standard shipping container ensures it can be quickly deployed to support ADF operations or exported to allied nations, positioning it as a versatile asset for both domestic and international defense needs. The Strix drone carries profound implications for Australia and the broader Indo-Pacific region. Domestically, it strengthens Australia's sovereign defense capabilities, reducing reliance on foreign systems and fostering innovation within the national defense industry. The project, supported by BAE's $3.75 billion R&D investment in 2022, including $545 million self-funded, creates high-skilled jobs across states like Western Australia and Victoria, while partnerships with local firms like Innovero bolster the defense ecosystem. Strategically, the Strix enhances the ADF's operational flexibility, particularly in maritime and land-based missions, aligning with the Albanese government's emphasis on sovereign drone development. Regionally, the drone positions Australia to counter the growing proliferation of military UAS in the Indo-Pacific, where powers like China are advancing their own capabilities. By integrating into naval task forces, the Strix strengthens maritime domain awareness and deterrence, while its potential export to allies like the US, Japan, or India could foster collaborative security frameworks. The drone's cost-effective design also has the potential to shift regional power dynamics, enabling smaller nations to adopt similar technologies, as demonstrated by Ukraine's success in asymmetric warfare. Looking ahead, BAE Systems Australia is focused on advancing the Strix toward operational deployment and expanding its technological capabilities. Future plans include conducting horizontal flight tests, integrating AI-enabled systems for autonomous navigation and targeting, and exploring swarming capabilities to enhance battlefield coordination. By 2026, BAE aims to secure ADF contracts and capitalize on international demand, leveraging the drone's upgradable and modular design to appeal to a global market. The incorporation of longer endurance and networked capabilities will align the Strix with emerging trends in autonomous drone technology, ensuring its relevance in future conflicts. Additionally, Australia is addressing ethical and legal considerations such as accountability for autonomous operations to ensure compliance with international norms as the Strix nears deployment. With its innovative design and strategic versatility, the Strix is set to play a pivotal role in shaping Australia's defense posture and influencing regional security dynamics. In conclusion, the Strix drone represents a bold step forward in Australia's pursuit of advanced sovereign defense capabilities. Its rapid development from concept to first flight in under two years highlights the nation's commitment to innovation in unmanned systems. As a versatile platform for ISR, strike and runway independent operations, the Strix enhances the ADF's ability to navigate complex operational environments while offering cost-effective solutions for asymmetric warfare. Its potential to strengthen Australia's defense industry, counter regional threats, and foster international partnerships underscores its strategic significance. As BA Systems Australia pushes toward operational readiness by 2026, the Strix is poised to become a cornerstone of Australia's military modernization, ensuring the nation remains a formidable player in the Indo-Pacific's evolving security landscape.